Hi everyone, this is Susie Wright, the aka the Cosmic Cupcake, with your astro forecast for January 1st through January 7th, 2011. Happy New Year to everyone! When we started the new year off right with a beautiful, optimistic Sagittarius moon, and it just had everybody out in the best moods. I kept hearing and seeing posts over and over again about, oh boy, the next year is going to be so much better, and you know, um, a lot of that was because last year sucked for a lot of people. So sorry. Um, but uh, a lot of it was just, you know, it's just people had hope again, and that was good to hear and see, and it was the perfect way to bring in the new year. Um, however, for me, the real new year is actually going to start in my, my book um, at 3.02 a.m. on January 4th, which is actually tonight. Yeah, I'm a little late with the forecast, um, but I'll think of some excuse. Um, the partial solar eclipse comes in at 13 degrees Capricorn, and that's what's going to happen this morning. And it's a it's a new moon, so as as usual, it's a great moon for manifesting. So if you didn't set, if you didn't make any resolutions or, or anything, this is a great time to just sit down and set some intentions and some goals for yourself for the upcoming year. The energy of solar eclipses, even partial solar eclipses and lunar eclipses, is so strong. So you know you can really really use it to your advantage. Um, so literally writing down what you where, where you want your goals to where you want to go you know goal wise it's anything related to Capricorn this is all Capricorn energy so you know work leadership it's it's a little bit of a settling down and, and more focused direction so yay um, eclipses come in cycles so this is uh, part of one is a cycle that happened that started back in 19 well it didn't start back then but the last time that most people will remember is 1992 so kind of think back to where you were then see where you are today you know is it where you thought you'd be is it better worse same you know remember you know if, if you're really in the same kind of maybe rut that you were in back then or not as far as you'd like to be you know just remember if you keep doing the same things you keep getting the same results um Okay, let's see. The next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, Jupiter and Uranus conjunct for the third and last time now this week. And uh, the last time these two got together was last year. It was two times last year in June and September, I believe it was. So, um, you know, we learn where we're going by where, you know, when we look back and see where we've been when it's a, a, in the astrological sense of things because when the planets repeat patterns, they bring that junk with them. So good or bad or indifferent, whatever. So, you know, again, look back to those two points in time last year what was going on with you then um, did you start a new project did you come up with some brilliant idea that you haven't made happen yet it, you know that hasn't taken form yet so you may be revisiting those situations at that point new territory new ideas and breakthroughs are all the theme this is positive energy guys so you know positive don't be afraid to step into the unknown it's required going forward <laughs> you don't have a choice um, and then very nicely on January 7th, Venus enters Sagittarius. Yay! More optimism. And finally, for all of you heartbroken and downtrodden in the love department, you're going to start to feel like it's going to be okay. And it really is. Um, you can start thinking ahead a little bit. Um, and on that day, you actually have an opportunity here. Um, the sun is also going to square ca uh, Saturn in a uh, uh, Libra and Saturn in Libra. Ugh. Um, yeah, Mercury's still a little retrograde. Um, it's like it's actually direct, but it's still in its shadow, and I'm suffering the consequences. So, anyway, so when the Sun in Capricorn squares Saturn in Libra, I think what that's going to feel like is for a lot of people is like, oh my God, I have been so lost in La La Land, and now I really need to get my life back in order. A lot of folks it had to do with like relationships and things too, and things ending and. Um, you know, so uh, you just kind of get a, a little wake up call here, and it's a good thing. So, and you can actually start that new beginning. Um, a good time for that would be 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday when that it becomes exact. So, um, Void of Course Moons this week. Uh, void of Course Moons are just times where you just don't want to make any major purchases, any major decisions. It's when the moon's made its last aspect to a particular, um, you know, uh, planet through the signs and uh and it's not making any more aspects uh, until you know the and, and then it goes into the next sign so um basically it's just kind of drifty and void and you know it actually may be now too that may be my problem although it could be that it's late at night and i'm doing this uh, but i was determined to do this on the eclipse because i want this to be something that i do all the time for going forward so anyways the void of course moons are wednesday january 5th 5 23 a.m to 4 54 p.m and then the moon is going to go into 
Aquarius, rebellious and, and interesting, unique Aquarius. Friday, January 7th at 3.59 p.m. to Saturday, January 8th at 3.56 a.m. when it moves into nice mellow Pisces. And then for the weekend, we really have no major aspects, no hard aspects. You know, it's just kind of picking up the pieces. So we can just kind of groove with that moon in Pisces. And um, so now by sign for the week, here we go. And this is this is your bonus this week. Aries, keep your goals in focus. The energy's amping up and you're going to feel pulled in many directions. Oh, shiny thing. Um, yeah, that's what it's going to feel like. Taurus, you on the other hand are really finding support you need to get closer to your goals. So slow and steady, you'll get there. Cancer, you have been through it this past year, you poor thing. And now it's time to set the parameters in all those relationships that have had to go here and there. And, and you've had, you know, really, but stick to them this time because otherwise people aren't going to take you seriously. Okay. Um, Gemini, once again, it's all about the money thing with the energies focused on what you want versus what you can have. Sorry, pussycat, it's compromise time. Uh, Leo, health is on your mind. Work's kind of calmed down for you. You had a little some ups and downs there, but um, but look at the toll that it may be, have, maybe has taken on your physical being. Um, so get a plan together to bring some balance back into your life. Virgo, your creativity is revving up again. Yay, go make something very detailed. You'll be thrilled and people will love it because they always do. Um, Libra, You've had Saturn pestering you for a while now. So have you listened? Have you found the balance point? Maybe if you stop trying to balance, it'll just happen. Let's do more B, okay? It's not about what people think out there. Um, it's about what you feel. So Scorpio, okay. When are you going to get the message your Virgo friends have been sending you? Get organized. If you think last summer was crazy, wait till the spring. So focus, people. And I say that to myself because I'm a Scorpio and I'm not organized. Um, Sagittarius, lots of activity around you lately and lots of excess too. You're going to be paying for some oversights and some overspending. But you know what? It's okay. You know you're going to make more. You're lucky. So don't worry about it. Just uh, try not to do it again. Yeah, right. Um, Capricorn, it's all you, baby. This eclipse is in your sign. Pluto's there for many more years in your sign. So talk about some long lasting changes wow it's you're in the process of reinventing yourself totally so you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg so just take it easy this week and you know kind of focus a little bit and try and get some uh, get some plans ahead here where you'd like to be. Um, Aquarius, this is your time to really turn inward now. This eclipse is, ha is happening in your 12th house. You, Pluto should, you know, may or may not be in there. Again, this is sun sign astrology, guys. The houses may not be exact. Um, so, but basically for most Aquarians, uh, it's, it's all in your 12th house and that's your inner you know stuff so it's all it's your inner self-sabotage and all that lovely junk is getting exposed. So uh, work it out. Okay, um, Pisces, you're a natural giver and empath, so you know take that on the road. Get some friends together and have a fundraiser for your favorite cause. That that would be a great thing for you to do this week. Kind of get out of yourself a little bit. You've had some drama lately too, I understand, and um, and make sure you have some fun doing the fundraising. So um, any questions about this, guys, you can call me or email me. Go to my website, Tarot Card Reader Nashville. Yes, it's a long name, but I'm sure you can spell it. Tarot Card Reader Nashville. It's what I do. It's where I am, one of the things I do. Or you can email me at astrologernashville at gmail.com. That's also what I do and where you can find me. So here's wishing you a sweet and delicious week from the Cosmic Cupcake. And next week, folks, Mercury, the winged dude, gets busy. See ya.